What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here, back at it again with another action figure review. This time, it's on the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Musical Mutant Gen Tour, and holy crap guys, I gotta say, this was a pain in the ass to get, I mean, the whole online trying to pre-order it through Target was a mess. I mean, scalpers out there are just out of control right now. They are trying to sell this for like three to four hundred dollars. It's ridiculous, but finally it, 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 it arrived at my local Target, so I was able to pick this up. I only got the actual figures, uh, so there's no there's like a separate box where you can get like the. Uh, it's like the extra accessories you get a tote bag you know you get a couple of picks you get a ticket and a pass and, uh, and a t-shirt but i was like nah i don't i don't need all of that man i just want the actual figures and so here they are uh so it's a pretty big box just like you know mostly when you have the big old sets of the teenage mutant ninja turtles uh just like the first time they were released they were released in that big huge vhs um you know box so here we go and so this is it right here as you can see this is the front of it uh i'll turn it over to the side and as you can see right there you got the side there uh the musical mutagen uh tour and then on the back of course you got like a cool little cutout if you want to do that uh it looks a little creepy i'm not gonna lie when these guys were actually doing their tour um they 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 actually looked a little creepy but these figures actually look a lot better than the actual live uh you know turtles when they were doing their actual uh concerts and then of course you got like a playlist here uh on the other side it's the same thing but uh this is pretty much it the whole box so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and uh it's on the sleeve so i'm just gonna go ahead and push it out and just show you uh how does it come so i i took out the plastic and all of that so uh, this is really tight, man. Come on. Give me the figures. Give me. Ah, finally. All right, guys. So there it is. Uh, so you have kind of like this cool little box here. Uh, it's got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's full of uh, stickers on it, which is really cool. Uh, I think on the side here, there's more like little stickers here. Oh, no, not that side. It's actually. Oh, yeah, right there. So. You got Channel 6 News, Kawabanga, uh, and then on the back here, you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Musical Mutagen Tour. Now, which is really interesting is that when you go ahead and open this guy up, you got all the turtles inside right here. Really nice, and this is pretty much, I did not mess with this. This is how it comes right here. This looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. This looks really, really good. So you have all the musical instruments. Uh, you do have this cool kind of backdrop, uh, just like if they're performing at the concert. And of course, you know, of course you have all the accessories and interchangeable hands. So this looks really, really good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead, take these guys out, and then that way we could take a closer look. And then I'll bring out the original Teenage uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles, the uh the first wave that came out and kind of compare them but i think they're kind of using the same mold i think they just added different paint apps and then of course they all have their jean jacket but that's pretty much it guys let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead to take these guys out and we can take a closer look at these action figures all right guys so there is the turtles so here are the teenage mutant ninja turtles from the musical mutagen tour and they look really good uh i did bring out my original 1990 uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles from the movie so i'll do a comparison uh for you guys to kind of let you know you know how they compare with the other guys but uh these look really really good now, um, of course, I did put the instruments kind of according to their uh, their color, you know what I'm saying? So according to the actual turtles, and then of course the hands, I didn't interchange, the, uh, I didn't do any uh, changing of the hands. Those are kind of like the default hands that come out of the package. So let me just show you the extra uh, accessories that you do get with these figures. So uh, of course, as you can see, each one does have their own instrument. So um, here, uh, Leo, he does have the bass guitar, the one string bass guitar, and it has a little hint of blue, so I figured that's probably his Raphael does have the uh, electric guitar so of course he's got a little bit of red uh, Don here has the um 
keyboard so of course he's got a little bit of purple and then of course Mikey I mean besides the strap being kind of orangey brown uh, he does have the electronic synthesizer now the fifth uh, musical instrument that you have is this uh, saxophone here and it looks really good so uh, the paint's good scope is good so you do have a saxophone uh, and you could pretty much put whatever you know whoever you want it holding it or you know playing it that's that's totally up to you uh, you have that option and of course you do get this uh, funky looking pizza here like a frisbee uh, very interesting piece there so uh, you do have this right there and of course you do get four sets of interchangeable hands uh, but of course two you get two sets of each uh, you know interchangeable hands so let me just uh, show you so you do get uh, two sets of these uh, thumbs up hands so you get two of these and then you do get two sets of the kind of like the fingers are all spread out hands here so you do get two of each so uh, so there's four sets of interchangeable hands there two of each uh, and then of course the last piece of accessory is the eye um, the core here so like here here's Mikey right so uh, you do have this kind of like Chevron kind of like Star Trek looking like uh, decor here you could actually just take it off I actually thought it was glued on but you could switch it out see so yeah, as you see there's a little peg there and you know it's the shape of the uh, eyelet so uh, you could pretty much put it on to any eye or any uh, figure that you want so that is really cool that you have that option because um, I, I did notice like like each person was wearing a different one so as you can see it fits onto anybody that you want now the figures are the articulation of these figures are pretty much the same as the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles you know from the movie the 1990 movie so if you have a set of those articulation is not any different now uh, of course I'll start off with Leo here and of course he's got his uh, bass guitar which is really nice so there it is really cool and then you get this nice soft uh, you know strap there so it's really really cool uh, with this guy of course he does have this nice jean jacket and he has this uh, like a harness here now I don't know if you could really take that off um, you know what I'm saying so I guess I mean, if you pop the head off, I guess you can. I'm not gonna mess with it, but definitely you could take off the jean jacket. That is not an issue. And then of course, on the back of the jacket, they do have their name on it. And then of course, they have this picture right here, which looks really good. And then of course, they have the first uh, you know, letter of their name right there. So you see the L. Uh, the only thing that really comes off, I mean, obviously you could take the jacket off if you wanted to. Of course, the tails here of the uh, bandana does come off and I'm gonna try to do this on okay this one does not come off that easily there it is so there you go so pretty much like just like the uh, other turtles uh, it does come off but you don't get an extra set which is interesting uh, the other turtles you always did and then I don't know what's going on here I think that's some kind of weird scuff going on there but uh, anywho but that's pretty much it and then of course you know their uh, knee pads and their elbow pads all have like these different cool designs and then of course they got these socks and then of course they have these uh, cool shoes here so overall they look really good now the mic you cannot I, I tried I try to take it off but I think it's kind of glued on there so I'm not even gonna mess with it but um, it does kind of move a little bit so I just be careful with that mic um, now what's new about these turtles uh, of course like their eyes are a little bit more detailed as you can see beside you know what I'm saying like their, de their eyes are a little bit more detailed than uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the movie now what's an added feature is that jaw right there so you could pretty much move that jaw which is really cool so that is really really nice so you get to uh, you know push the jaw up and down as you want and it looks really good now on the side here you can see that little uh, gap there but not it's it's not that bad it actually blends in really good so they did a good job on that so there's Leo and I'll put him off to the side here because I want to kind of get him out of the way so I could do a comparison and then of course here's Raphael uh, he does have his uh, guitar here so there it is really nice there's the back end and then of course his design he's got the R uh, and then of course he's got his name on the back and the 
uh, little poster right there or the picture and so there's the bottom so this is fabric of course and then this is like a soft plastic here kind of like a lace that's going around the socks there but looks really good uh, so there it is so there's Raphael let me put that guy back here because I really do want to show you guys how it compares to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the movie uh, this here's uh, Donatello of course he's got his keyboard and there's the keyboard right there there's the back end super clean and of course this the uh, little strap is really nicely done it's a really nice soft plastic almost feels like leather uh, <clears throat> And then of course he's got uh, his design, his own unique design on his leather jacket. There's no pocket, uh, of course. And then of course on the back it's got his name and then of course the picture. And then here's the bottom of his knee pads and then of course the elbow pads. And he's got a little, a little fray there going on. So that is cool. And then of course Mikey, he's got the, uh, I, I put him with the electronic uh, synthesizer here. So this looks really cool. Uh, so there it is and then here's the back and then of course the strap and then here's Mikey he's got the M of course it says Michelangelo and then of course they got the picture and then the way it looks at the bottom he's got kind of like that star all over his elbow pads and knee pads so really cool since I have Mikey right here uh, let me just show you how it looks um, so I'm gonna try to stand him up right here all right so here's Mikey from the you know the movie so the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie and as you can see the it's the head like I, I was trying to figure out like what what what's what's the big difference between these two guys and and really is that the uh, you know the the mutagen tour uh, Michelangelo has a big head and of course like this guy right here from the movie does not like it's it's actually it looks it looks normal his body but of course like with these guys I mean if you ever saw them live they do look a little ridiculous their costume was really pretty bad uh, and they had these huge heads and stuff like that so uh, I so I'm, I'm guessing that NECA was trying to get really, really close to what they actually look like uh, when they were performing. So the body, though, looks exactly the same. So as you, I mean, I don't know, you guys let me know, but I think the body is exactly the same. Uh, the legs look the same. The shell looks the same. Uh, it's just that head, man. That head is huge. And of course, like the head is going to be a little bit bigger too, because now they added that little feature with the jaw. So you could open the jaw up, open their mouth open, or uh, you know have their mouth closed. So that is cool. And then of course their eyes are a little bit more detailed uh, compared to the movie version. So, but definitely, I think overall, like height wise, yeah, you could tell. Like either they have like a little bit longer neck and then of course that head is definitely a lot larger uh but there they go but uh as far as interchangeable hands i think they're they, you, they, they work like here's okay so here's mikey's thumbs up so here's the one that comes from the uh the tour and then here is the one from the movie and they're pretty much identical so yep identical so that is cool so you can switch out the hands uh, however you want so you do if you have a set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, you know from the movie and you have this set now then obviously yes you have extra interchangeable hands that you could you could switch them out so that is really really cool uh, like I said these guys did not come with extra bandana tails so pretty much that's all you get uh, and then that's pretty much it like that that's there's not a lot of accessories it's just like man there's just so much detail on these figures like you know they got all their jean jackets and everything like that and of course you know they got all this design going around their uh, elbow and knee pads and then of course they got the uh, sock warmers and then of course their tennis shoes so it looks really good um, <clears throat> like I said it was a hassle getting these guys uh, the whole target online pre-order thing was a mess and then like scalpers you know I don't know they're selling this for a ridiculous amount so I would say if it, wherever you're at just start checking your target because I went on the day that it was supposed to uh, you know release the street uh, date and there was none so now 
I just checked my local Target and there was boxes. There was like about five sets. And then I think they had like a couple of sets of the accessory pack, which, uh, you know, had the tote bag, the guitar picks and all of that. So I would definitely start checking out your targets. You know, don't don't pay attention to the whole eBay thing right now, man. Just check your targets uh, if you're looking for a set. These things, they look amazing, man. So I can see why people are trying to, you know, get these like right away. They look really, really good. And so next, I think Super Shredder's coming out and I believe that's a Walmart exclusive. So uh, I can't wait to get that and then I'll definitely do a review. But these guys look really, really good. And of course, here is the movie one. And like I said, it's, I think it's just the head and the neck, but the body wise is all pretty much the same. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.